Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own free proxy server on your home computer. What a proxy is, is it allows you to connect to the internet using your own internet connection at home from any internet connection worldwide. Now this is useful if you want to be able to anonymously browse the web from anybody else's public network. Now to start, you're going to need a free program called Free Proxy by Handcrafted Start With. So open up your internet browser and head over to Google. There, type in handcrafted software. And hit enter. Go ahead and click on free proxy internet suite. And it'll bring you directly to the download page. Now you're going to enter the captcha. And I found that in order to make this work, every letter you type in has to be a capital even if it doesn't show up as a capital in the picture 3 V A 8 B click download and it's the wrong one but I've already got it downloaded so let's go ahead and open up that and then you run setup.exe now you don't have to extract the zip file that it downloads to make this work can just run it. Click run. When the user account control dialog box pops up, just click yes. Click next. Click I accept the agreement. Click next. And then if you want to change this, you can, but I suggest you just leave it as how it is. I've already installed it before, so I'll just click yes. Click next. Click install. Click next and click finish. I can close out of everything. And now you're going to have to set up some things to make this work. The first thing, you're going to need to set up a static IP address for your computer. Now to do this, you right click on the internet connection icon down in the lower right of your screen and click open network and sharing center. Then in the left, click change adapter settings. Right click on the connection that you're currently connected to the internet with, click properties. Scroll down until you find Internet Protocol version 4 and double click on it. And then when you click use the following IP address. Now for this, you can only you have to use a certain number. So to find out what that number is, you can click on start and type in CMD. And right click and click run as administrator. Click yes. And then type in IP config. And click enter. So under default gateway, mine is 192.168.1.1, yours is, your may be different. You want to keep the first three sets of numbers the same. You want to change the last one though. I suggest making it something fairly high so you don't conflict with anything else on your network. So I'm going to type in 192.168.1 and I'm going to put in 50. Now this will fill itself out and mine has a glitch for some reason where it fills this out and then deletes it after I click OK so I'll just leave that for now and fix it later 192 and then for this you put in the same thing that your default gateway was which you found out over here 192.168.1.1.1 and then click OK click yes if that shows up click OK again and wait for this to reconnect it'll say identifying and then it should say your network name if you're on wireless and if you're wired I'm not sure what it will say wait for this to connect again and mine will for some reason delete the default gateway so it won't be able to connect to the internet so I have to go back in and reset it see it says unidentified network yours will most likely not do this but just in case it does you want to watch that. See, it deleted it there. 2.168. Oops. No, one. I'm having a bad day. And then click OK. Click Yes if that shows up, and click OK again. Now, this time, once it gets done identifying, it should label with your network name. So we'll wait for that. Alright, you can close out of this. 
Now the next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to set up port forwarding. So they're connected. So to do that, you're going to have to log into your wireless routers or just your routers uh, setup page. So to do that, you go to your internet browser and type in the default gateway that you found earlier. 192.168.1.1 and then you log in. If you don't remember ever setting anything for this, then it's probably default and you can find that in your router's user manual. So I'm going to log into mine. Word and click OK. So once you're in here, you're going to have to set up port forwarding. Now your router may be different. Um, with Cisco and Lynx, it's, it's usually under application and gaming. Um, yours may say something similar, or it may just say port forwarding. So now we're in port forwarding, and you have to set it up. So I'm just going to type in proxy for the name, and then I'm going to pick a port. I'm going to pick 8080, and just put that same, change this to TCP, and change this to the static IP address you've created, 50, and click enable. That's the static IP address of your computer that you just created. Click Save Settings. Click Continue. And now that's set up. Now we can go to Start and run the program that we just installed. But you're going to have to run this as administrator in order to start the proxy. So you right click, and click Run as administrator, and then click Yes. Wait for it to load. And then once it loads, you're going to want to click on the thing that says proxy and double click on that. Now you can name anything you want. For the protocol, we're going to put H HTTP proxy for this, which in my opinion is the most commonly used protocol. The client port is the port that you set up in your router. And under binding, if you have more than one connection on your computer, then you're going to want to select that. But since I only have one, I'm just going to leave it blank. So now you're going to click Use HTTP Authentication. Check that. And the realm is just any random word that you want just to make sure that you're logging into your proxy server and not somebody else's. So I'm just going to put in Griff, Griff 100. Click Done. Click yes. Now we're going to set up the users. So when you click on users, there's going to be nobody there. So you click add under the username, pick anything you want. I'm going to put Griff Griff 100. You can leave the description blank if you want to or put something in. And then choose a password. I'm just going to put in password. And then retype the password. Click done. And then when you expand the group sections and click on that, you're going to want to click Add to add a group. I'm going to call this Proxy Users. And then you have to put an inscription in this one, so I'll just put the same thing. Proxy Users. And then click Done. Now when you click on that, you have to click Add to add a user. You can click I just have one, but you can create multiple users. And you just add them all to this proxy users group. And then click done. And then back in proxy, under permissions, you can click add resource. Under type, click on HTTP at proxy service. And then for the users, you can click proxy users. If you want to change your permissions, you can mess around with it. And then you have to click the ch check the box users must authenticate so that is secure and then click done click done again and click done on that click yes now you have to start it click on start stop and then click start click ok to save it and then it will say running click ok close out of this now free proxy will run as a service on your computer which means that it doesn't have to be open for it to work. It also means you don't have to be logged on for it to work. So you can just turn your computer on without logging on, and it will be started, and you can use it. So now I'm going to show you how to set this up in Firefox. So go to Firefox. 
under the Firefox tab, click Options, click Advanced, click the Network tab, and then click Settings under the Connection. Click on Manual Proxy Configuration and type in either your static IP address of your internet. Um, you most likely won't have one of these if you're just a regular consumer with like a residential ISP account. So you'll have to create a dynamic DNS domain name. Now I'm not going to go over how to set one of these up, but I suggest using dynedns.com, dyndns.com. I'll put a link for that in the description. Um, if you do happen to have a static IP address, you can just put that in there. Or if you happen to have a domain name, you can also put that in there. Um, so I'm going to put in my dynamic DNS. I'll click. And under port, it's going to be the port that you put in for your, both your port forwarding and in the proxy software. And I suggest click use this proxy server for all protocols just to be safe in case there's any other sort of proxies hidden somewhere. Click OK. Click OK again. Now I have this little extension for Firefox that lets me easily disable and enable the proxy server. So I'm going to click on that to enable it. Now I can go somewhere, go to YouTube, and it'll ask for the username and password. See, this says GriffGriff100, which was the realm that we created. So for the username, put in the username that you created. And then for the password, put in the password. And click OK. Now you're logged into the proxy, and you'll be able to go to your YouTube. Now, if you put in the username wrong, let me close out and go back in to show you what happens if you put in the wrong username and password. And see, it just keeps going up. If you put in the right username and the wrong password, it's do the same thing. So as you can see, it's pretty secure to make sure that only you can get in there. And if you click cancel, it'll come up with this and error, give you information, and everything like that. So that is how to set up your own free proxy server on your home computer. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for future videos.